Hello everybody. So today I would like to show you a new way about shared preferences. As you can see in this example for the moment, this is the standard way in Kotlin Offshore, of course. So I show you two examples how to use the shared preferences in Kotlin. There is the example one the example too and I place a button as you can see here on the application to pass to the next activity retrieve data activity so in standard way so you if you would like to pass information you had to use it in the views or in the fragments and as you can see, main activity, I would like to pass the, the, the string Hello Viking Day first shared. And for the example to Hello Viking Day second shared. And to retrieve the information on the next activity, it's simple as you can see that I would like to rescue the data of the name here. And here so let's have a look when I run the application so the application is running and click on the button and as you can see I've got the information Viking Dev first shared and Viking Dev second shared as we can see on the screen but it's not the best way in, in VVM and I would like to show you how to use chat preferences in Kotlin in NVVM. I already done the video in Java and I would like to show you the same in Kotlin. So now let's delete all the information inside this activity and inside this activity too. Right, let's create first the different package. So we need package for views. We need package for view model. The models. Or repositories. That's it. Let's create inside the package views to another packages. So for activities and inside this, let's show in this brother. I would like to add a new one for ranks. Okay. Now let's refactor the, the uh, this those activities inside. Okay, that's it. So let's have a look on the build gradle to continue. You need to implement for the view models, for the live data, for the coroutines, JSON, Google, or JSON like this this one and the, for the shared preferences you need this implementation okay okay so first of all let's create the main application extend application okay let's implement the method on create and companion object target synchronized need our instance main application and private set inside 
instance equal this. That's it. We can close it. And we can close the build gradle too. Right. So now let's create the abstract class. Share parents live data. Okay, and extend T. Right. And var shared preferences. Shared preferences. Var key to use. And var def value transfer. ST. And of course, time data T. Okay. So let's create the different method inside. So private or reference listener, reference change listener, equal on shared reference listener. Change listener, that's it. Okay. So shared reference is key. So if this shared shared reference reference live data dot key no, there is a mistake. Oh, excuse me, of course, string, we need a string, I guess, and let's copy this, like this, dot k, equal k, value, equal get, value, on references and k and the value so let's create the abstract method is this abstract and delete this Oops, yes, of course. An abstract one, yes. So let's create the on active. That's it. Value equal get value references or key and the value and shared preferences dot register on shared preference change listener preference listener. Let's do the same for the on active the inside so shared preferences dot on register and listener preference listener that's it for the abstract class so now let's create this repository class for the string so string shared preference okay It. So inside we need prefs. So shared preferences. Okay. 
the key string and the diff value a string to and implement shape reference levy data string or with prefs diff value Excuse me, not the issue, but in the other key, existent level key. Right, so let's implement the method now. Right, so we've got string, string, string. That's it, and return the value dot let. Shared preferences dot get string for the key and get the key. That's it. Now let's put the method to use fun get string live data get string data key string F4 value string and shared preferences shared. Oh, that's the mistake. That's it. So shared. What's happening? Fun, fun, and shared preferences live data string and key presses so return object shared preferences live data string shared preferences a and default value So let's implement the method. Yes, sit and just return the def value. That's it for the string shared preference. So now let's create the repository. So shared. Reference repo. Let's place inside the context. Okay. So private or uh, shared preferences, shared preferences, shared preferences equal reference manager dot get default shared preferences paste the context let's create the variable so private for value list string to transfer string with null well null let's create a companion object and inside the key, so for the key or e or list string string value. So string equal, for example, key list a string list. That's it. Now let's create a singleton private instance private what a private var instance shared preference repo call null pun get instance context context equal instance 
chat preference oops chat preference report context dot so instance equal it that's it so now let's create the method before let's save a new variable for string chat chat preference chat preference is is string preference to all null that's it so now let's go to the method to so method to set and retrieve oops and retrieve data so for the set fun set is string shared preference preference like this is put value of course list string is like this so let's use season json equal season like this and we have to use it value list transfer equal season dot season two okay value like this so now string shared preference equal string shared preference so we need to pass of course shared preferences the key and the value that's it now to retrieve data so then get list data string of value let's use that if data of course string and now let's use the transformations map so return transformations dot map this so inside string shared preference this dot string live data and for this key and value the string like this is an object of course function so we need we need with this one input oops not like this excuse me string of course we are well, string string and that's it so let's implement the method before before good what's happening elements oh yes no i made a mistake like this i made a mistake okay right so now let's implement the method like this and we only need to return the input like this so what is problem string string oh yes we forgot this so uh, Get this level data, transformation map, strict shared preferences. Okay, get string level data. Yes, there's a mistake here. Missing. Uh, yes, like this. Yes, yes, and that's it. So that's okay for the repository. So now let's create the method before. Let's have a new variable for string 
Chan. Chan. Reference chat. Reference. This. This. Chan preference. So. Oh. No. That's it. So now. Let's go to the. Method to. So method to set and retrieve. Oops, and retrieve data. So for the set fun set is string shared preference preference is is put value of course list string. like this so let's use season season equal season like this and we have to use it value list transfer equal season dot season two okay value like this so now string shared preference equal String shared preference, so we need to pass, of course, shared preferences, the key, and the value. That's it. Now to retrieve data, so then get list data string of value. Let's use the if data, of course, string. And now let's use the transformations map. So return transformations.map this. So inside string shared preference this dot string live data. And for this key and value the string like this is an object of course function so we need we need with this one input Oops, not like this, excuse me, string, of course, we had well, string, string, and that's it. So, let's implement the method before we forget what's happening. Elements, elements, oh yes, no, I made a mistake. Like this, I made a mistake. Okay, right. So now let's implement the method. Like this. And we only need to return the input. Like this. So what is problem string string? Oh yes. We forgot this. So uh Get list level data, transformation map, strict shared preferences. Okay, get string level data. Yes, there's a mistake here. Missing. Uh, yes, like this. Yes, yes, and that's it. So that's okay for the repository. So now let's create the man activity view model. Man activity view model. That's it. Inside this private. Excuse me. Private. So we need, of course, shared preferences repo like this. And we need main application. Nice, that's, that's okay. And excuse me. 
and implement and extend excuse me and right model main application okay so now let's implement the method inside so set and retrieve data so fun set data list list string of course value is list string this does not be null so shared preferences ripple so set list string and best value and to retrieve data so get value of list string with live data string and return shared reference repo dot get list of value that's it now go to create the view model factory like this so implement view model factory dot Oh, it's in the factory provider, of course. Yes, factory and implement method. Yes, so first let's create the companion object. Private bar instance the model factory equal null. And fun get instance k okay, equal instance or sorry equal instance is another factory but uh, so and instance equal it it not instance is so now let's let's put the model class inside so if model class if model class dot is a senior senior main activity view model dot clash java return so main activity view model is as t and we have the bus inside so the shared reference people instance and uh, we forget to paste the context problem so just a minute for this not, not the context but main application excuse me dot instance of course and last one main application get instance that's it and we would like to suppress this warning so go above and suppress with capital S suppress and checked test like this okay and don't forget to true argument true argument exception so you forgot to place the new view model in view factory suppress this okay so now we have done we can go to the activity so go to main activity main activity you can close the other that's it so let's put the bending it will be more, more simple to use you can use find you by ID of course so let's place all the bending in the bridge let's copy and paste why not here and data bending is not necessary let's finish okay let me need for let's that's it 
bending and now yes we can have activity main bending that's it so let's implement it, it inside so bending equal activity min bending dot min view not view but view it's in, it's in fragments in activity layout and filter uh, it's not, not bend bend it for it's for bend it's for uh, fragments it's not but in flight or oh, sorry like this and and bending dot root that's it that's okay so let's implement our main activity view model it in for main activity view model so main activity view model equal view model provider this model factory dot get instance dot get so man activity view model dot java class that's it for the bindings not necessary but it's better to have the same thing so let's do the same a bending equal activity tree data bending dot in and layout inflator and inside replace this dot bending dot root that's it now let's yes we forgot one thing we need to create the retrieve data activity view model so let's create so retrieve Retrieve data activity view model. Okay, that's it. So private well shared preferences repo. Okay, and main application to okay and Android. Android view model inside main application. Okay, that's it. So let's copy this and paste here too. That's it. Right, so go back to retrieve data activity now let you need bar so retrieve data activity view model retrieve data view model equal view model provider this view model factory dot get instance dot get so retrieve data activity view model plus and now in this class what we have to do is only to get with a string observe this observer okay let's put this string json like this and doggy and let's copy this show on the low dot cat and receive save it and set and let's have a look that's it as you can see on the activity there is no more logical you must have the logical information the logical calculation and the other one inside the view model for the main activity model view model and the retrieve data activity view model okay so we would like to transfer to first of all activity to activity so main activity to retrieve data activity this one and we would like to pass this list 
okay but we forgot to do one thing let's implement this new retrieve data activity view model in the view model factory so let's do the same on the class dot signable retrieve then dot class and there is a mistake like this and return retrieve this as t2 and we have to place the same so chat preferences can instance for the context main application dot instance and for the last one main application instance so that's it so now we can run the application and let's have a look if it's okay so let's copy this inside first so let's run let's run the application to have a look I think there is a problem, yes. So what's happening? What's happening? I missed something. Oh, uh, okay. a mistake. Uh, it is What's happening? It's not. not this let's close it let's close it and go back to this main application instance not it is normal application get instance factory and uh, that's okay um and get synchronized with the instance main application oh there is a bit Thing. I forgot uh, there is a problem here. So, just a minute, retain property instance has not been initialized. Yes, boss, it is so. What's happening there? Application, it's normal. In a, oops, yes, of course. Yes, you forgot an important thing. Sorry, we had to put this inside the manifest, of course. Ah, sorry. So that's good. Now it's good. Sorry, we forgot this important thing. So, so don't forget to put your main application inside the android manifest of course let's delete this too okay sorry for that now it's done okay okay so now let's copy this and place here and as you can see we are in the main activity and we would like to transfer this thing. This is why I would like to put this method to inside the main activity to show what we would like to go to the data retrieve activity. Now let's click on the button to see. And as you see, we have this element transferred into good. This is the first way, and as you can see, it is better, like this. Okay, so now you probably need to use list and not string, and it is possible to, to use it. So let's use mediator live data. So, values root equal mediator live data, list string, that's it, so 
let's put not string but now a list of string okay so we don't need that for the moment okay so results dot add source chat preference report dot get list data string value observer and inside well, value equal is dot let's place this this so s dot replace so it is a a it's closed this and re so to x replaced a so list equal value u dot split so comma but checks to rejects and base so this not Array type array, I guess, but array list. So new array list list string and list dot four. So now, so let's place in let's replace ace to. replace what's happening yes so what you want like this so result result one equal what you want so replace okay and it's empty and a realist dot add result one so there is a little bit problem oh yes no there is a mistake where is oh not a list but we speak about string only like this String not excuse me like this okay so let's put inside the media to live data so result dot post value array list like this and of course return result like this so let's place a simple text view not in main, not in activity main, but in activity retrieved. So text view. I'm going to return text data retrieve. E. Let's put in color black. And so for the size, let's put it 25 SP and ID. So TV the okay, let's put this text view in the middle like this. And now go back to which the tag activity and retrieve dot dot string dot observe so this observer and let's place so binding binding dot tv dot text 
equal so it dot and by example index zero so let's have a look Okay, now we've got this to transfer, space, and as you can see, we can have the element one here. This one. Okay, so we can do the same with Boolean, of course, and this is the way to use shared preference in with MVVM. And as you can see, there is not a lot of information and logical programmation inside the view. Okay, so now you would like certainly to have the same information in fragments, so why not? So let's close all the, the, the thing like this. Let's create a new fragment. Oops, excuse me. Not like this, but the new fragment and blank one, of course. Let's call it first fragment, for example. Okay, in Kotlin. Let's delete all the thing. This, this, the mistake. This, and all of this. Like this. So okay. Let's create the first, first fragment view. First fragment view model. Package view models, of course. So, first fragment view model. So, let's copy everything of this. So, this, yes, copy and paste here and copy all the methods and past here okay like this so now let's go to first fragment and uh first of all let's let's create an activity um fragment container okay let's go and zero dp to place container this let's call it an id so fragment container like this and let put it here and to be better it's about 16 on each side yes okay that's it so go back to first fragment let's in it var so binding so binding Thing we would like with fragment where is it this one and um, now go back to load let's create and view created of course that's it so bending equal fragment bending dot view okay and Oops. Wait, you need uh, the first fragment view to model first. First fragment view model. Yes. So, first fragment. I made a mistake. What's happening? 
Oops. Not capital F, but like this. Okay. First, equal human human provider. By activity human factory. Dot get instance. Dot get class. Just activity no. Dot Java class. Go back to human factory and let's place here. Sorry. So model class dot is assignable first and you model dot class about and return first this is T and inside let's put chat reference get instance main application instance and for the last one main application oh dot instance like this so in activity main let's place another one button so button don't run content text all apps calls and text see result on click or fragment example it's a bit long okay let's put an id so bt so fragment fragment one so let's call it c fragment one it's better okay let's put it below this okay so in main activity so inside on create so bending dot bt fragment one so set click listener okay and with fragment manager Segment manager is support equal not equal. Oops, yes. A so fragment manager just change to like this. Dot begin transaction. Dot set order. Set yes reorder true replace all the ID dot container so fragment container first fragment not reorder but fragment dot two dot Class and null for argument so dot add best tag to null and of course comment this so now let's go to first fragment first fragment limited dot get value of list string dot observe by activity server and let's place a loggy and test one uh, button value that uh, retrieved in fragment fragment one and so it this Okay, so now let's run the application. Ok, 
Okay, right, so see the fragment. No, we can see the fragment. And let go, let's copy this to base. And as you can see, the information is in fragment two. Right? So this is how to use shared preferences in MVVM. Okay. So see you soon. Bye bye.